Hey everybody, it's Mickey and in today's video I have an early morning quick clean with me. So this morning I only have a few things to get done before I can get on with my day. First up is getting our hall bathroom back into shape after having some of the kids home for a few days. To wipe down the shower, I'm going to be using the Method Foaming Bathroom Cleaner in the Eucalyptus Mint Scent. I love this cleaner. I'm just not a big fan of its spray nozzle. It kind of just sprays the product all over the place, but I am determined to finish it up before I find something new. Before I rinse everything off, I like to give it a good scrub with a dish scrubby that has Dawn, water, and a little bit of white vinegar. To clean the mirrors, I am using my favorite Sprayway Foaming Window Cleaner. It always does a great job and I just use regular paper towels with it. To clean off the counters, I am using that same Method Foaming Cleaner and a separate dish scrubby that has the same mix of Dawn, water, and white vinegar. I'm always sure to keep the one that I use for the bath and the shower surround separated from the one that I use for the countertops. I am often asked about the hand soap that I have in this bathroom and they are from the Garrison and Home Collection. They are hand soaps made with essential oils. The ones that I use in here are lavender. You can find these at Home Goods, and I have even seen these at Marshalls. To clean the bowl, I am using Lysol Toilet Bowl Cleaner and for all the surfaces, I am using the Method Foaming Spray Cleaner. Those of you that use the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works, let me know what fragrances you guys really like for the summer. I have a hard time picking summer scents because I like more of the spicy notes that you can find in the fall and winter. So let me know in the comments down below which ones you guys recommend. Next on my list is a quick cleanup of our guest room, just changing the sheets and putting away the laundered guest towels. When I first put our guest room together, I had purchased two sets of the exact same sheets for this bed. I wanted to always be able to do a quick change of the sheets in between when company comes and I just wanted it all to always look the same. I wanted to thank everybody who watched my guest room tour and prep video for all your great comments. I am a little behind in answering everybody, so I'm going to be getting to it this week, so you should be hearing from me soon. To clean the dresser in this room, I am using my own DIY furniture cleaner. It is a combination of water, olive oil, and a little bit of white vinegar. I really like to use this for my everyday cleaning because I always worry about furniture polishing building up on my pieces. I like to keep the clean guest towels in this top drawer. I like to keep them separated from the ones that we use every day because our family has a tendency to just destroy towels. The last thing I need to do this morning is to clean the table that I have here in our hallway. So I have switched out the picture that used to hang above this table with a very sentimental piece. 
This is the headboard to the crib that all my children use. I have never really had the heart to completely store it away, so I think it looks great in the hallway here as a little bit something different. So thanks so much for watching today. If you are new here, I hope you will subscribe. I put out new videos every week about everything home. So until I see you in that next video, I hope you love the life that you have, and I will see you again soon.